sorry, helicopter overhead. But, just as it says, I want to talk today is some days, especially with a brittle diabetic, are we hard on ourselves. I've spoken a bit about how we get outside people setting our standards. And, but a lot of times, you know, we uh, start thinking so critical about us. Oh, my blood sugars aren't perfect. Oh, I wish it was. Oh. And, you know, I think we start internally blaming ourselves for the blood sugar issue. Sometimes we can blame ourselves for diet, for having diabetes, period. And I think we've got to really stop that. You know, it's very simple. We are... We have a disease. And... You've got to stop being critical of you. People are always criticizing you. And therefore, if you don't meet up to expectations... And sometimes there just is no real reason why you have a low blood sugar or why you have high blood sugars. But don't take it personally all the time. It says he's shiny. This looks weird. Anyway. You, you should try to have a normal blood sugar as close as possible. But if you end up having, you know, a little higher blood sugar, you know, don't worry. Like, don't, well, have minimal amount of worry. Every diabetic is going to have one or two blood sugars sometime during their month that are out to whack. You need not to worry if it's one. If it's, if you're running a high streak or you're getting two or three blood sugars that are, you know, questionable. You know, there could be reasons. It could be you're coming down with something. I know personally, I was trying so hard to get perfect blood sugars. And a lot of times, I would sit there and, you know, my little graphs and everything, and then all of a sudden there'd be a skyrocket or be a crash and oh my god you know I felt so bad people outside are putting pressure on you and You know, if you're following what your doctor has said, you're getting out, you're getting exercise, you're doing this, you're doing that, and things don't always work out, don't sit there and worry. Now, if you're doing the best you can, and, you know, you crash and you have a little blood sugar. And you know, your parents may say, well, what did you do? Are you playing around with your body? Don't be so upset about it. If you are, if you're playing around, 
with your diabetes, you're the only one who's really going to know. And I can tell you right now that your doctor, your diabetic nurse, are all going to expect sometimes where you're going to have blood sugars out. There are so many stresses out of work. And stress, believe it or not, can get your fight or flight reflexes starting to go. But, you know, your doctor should come up with a plan, sorry, to correct these things. And I don't want you to sit there and Oh my God, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to take 50,000 units of insulin. You know, that's not necessarily the correct thing to do. You need to take a breather sometimes. <sighs> But what I'm trying to say is, and I think I said it, is diabetes is not uh, an exact science. If it was, we'd all be walking around with the perfect blood sugars all the time. And teenagers and everything. (coughs) Well, sometimes... Keeping things real. <clears throat> Your body may be going through some changes. Now, if you're if you're an adolescent watching this, your body's growing. The insulin demands may be changing. You know, little things like, are you under a lot of stress at work? That may cause your blood sugar to go up as well. All these little things are important. Rarely are there people that have, who are always perfect blood sugars. Oh, well. I don't know why my blood sugar's up. Now, if you're doing the best you can with the information you are given, power to you. But don't sit there and worry about it. (coughs) I want you to follow your doctor's advice. And sometimes things will happen. But also on the flip side, I don't know, you you go out to eat, and you may miscalculated your carbs, or you didn't take enough insulin someday. Don't sit there and worry about it. Learn by your mistake. You know, as adolescents, uh, diagnosed with diabetes, (coughs) and it puts a stress on people. Uh, You know, it's, it can be hard. And you know, I've heard stories about adolescents putting, or not putting, but feeling like it's all their fault and so on. All I can say is it's sorry, it's a little cold out. It's clouded over during the morning and it's just really cold. But first of all, that's just a form of what I'm talking about. 
they feel like it's the financial stress and you know, it's not your fault you got diabetes and there are ways around it not around you getting diabetes <coughs> but the financial parts so you know the needles now are relatively inexpensive Most, you know, of the regular insulins are covered. The fast acting, you can ha have to pay for. But, you know, there's also a lot of medical plans out there that will cover most things. So don't feel that it's all your fault. It isn't your fault. Whether you were, came from a wealthy family or you're a poor family, it doesn't really matter. You, you do what you have to do. I'm sure your parents, you know, may feel it's under a strain, but there's always a way that you can get around it. Oh, my thing's still going off. Just before lunch today, it's now around one o'clock, but just before lunch today, I was low. 3.3, uh, I believe. And I didn't necessarily feel it. Now that's danger, so I started to eat, took some glucagon, and now they're saying, well, well, you're low again, you know, it's going into low suspense. And then now it said, oh, you diabetic, I have diabetes emergency. But I've eaten, I've had some glucagon, so it shouldn't be doing this very much longer. <sighs> but I never really felt that it was such a bad thing. I thought, well, I think I told you before, I thought it was great. I equated it to losing so much weight. And then, you know, I shot up. I was a tall, caught up to everyone my age and maybe surpassed. And that was awesome. So you need to keep things in perspective. It's a lot of times the stress comes from, you know, if you have a low blood sugar, you keep, you feel the guilt after. Oh, well, what did I do? Oh. Now, you shouldn't really feel guilty. If you took too much insulin and you had a severe low, well then, move on. Learn from it and learn what you can't do. But God forbid, don't get into playing with your insulin. It can just be troublesome. So often people, you know, keep thinking, well, more is better. So they give themselves much more insulin than they need. And then they have a severe low. Hmm.
but you shouldn't be stressful about having diabetes. Now, the reason why I say that is because if you are, sorry, just checking something. If you're stressful about having diabetes, it's gonna affect your blood sugar. So you know, sometimes you may just need to relax, de-stress your body. Yeah, so you have diabetes. It's just a different way of life. And I know your white blood cells, for whatever reason, start to attack your body. That's about the easiest way to explain type one. Type two, well, you know, sometimes people are carrying a few extra pounds and that may make them a diabetic. But don't worry about it. Do what you can. And I think I've said this before. Just be the best you can be. Try to get your best blood sugars. And don't worry, it's not your fault. People react differently to things and your body just has attacked itself. It's not your fault. Anyway, have a great day. We'll talk tomorrow. Bye now.